Hi there. Today I want to show you um, five paws of hay with Pericles because I want to demonstrate the different things that you can do in this exercise. And as you can see, there is green grass here. It's not very tall, but he has enjoyed the grass. So in order for him to be focused on the hay, I went ahead and put some orchard grass hay that he likes that's a little bit sweeter than the hay he normally gets so that he could be attracted to it. So we could do this exercise. So you need to think about that when you're working with your horse. If you want to do this exercise where there's grass, you might want to amp up your piles so that they're attractive to the horse. Um, so in this exercise, five piles of hay, it is a beautiful exercise to demonstrate reciprocal movements. And reciprocal movements are um, an interaction between you and your horse where sometimes you're gonna ask your horse to go to another pile, sometimes you're gonna ask your horse to come with you, sometimes you're gonna pause and follow your horse, and then sometimes he's gonna come to you and you might go for a walk to another pile. So you can practice this exercise, um, including all of the things that you've learned in the program up until now. All of the exercises in the sharing territory portion of the program could be practiced in here. For instance, you could practice head up and head down, which is very effective here in this exercise because you can work with him in one pile of hay. Um, you can work with asking the horse to come off of a pile and go join you in another pile. You can um, come in and say hello to your horse, um, and you can lead your horse from behind. So this particular exercise is demonstrating the first phases of you learning leading from behind to be able to master it later in the program when we practice the fourth ritual, which is leading from behind to create willingness in our horse. And so this will begin to help him understand halt, We've already worked with halt a little bit, coming in on um, intro to food, asking the horse to wait. Um, but this will begin to um, get him an under, give him an understanding of halting and leading from behind. So the three phases are that when you first ask the horse to move, he can go to any pile he wants to go to. So I'm just going to ask him if he'll go to another pile, and I don't care where he goes. Go. I don't want him to come back to the same pile, so I'm just going to ask him to go to another pile, and I'm going to follow him where he goes. So this is a very slow exercise. You want to take about 45 minutes in this exercise, an hour or longer, but it's not an exercise that you would want to um, get in and, and rush because it's really all about hanging out with your horse. For the sake of this video, and to keep it rather short, I am going to go through the motions of this exercise more quickly than I would like you to do it. So the second phase of leading from behind would be directing your horse to a particular pile. Now, this is a wonderful way to start to begin to direct your horse when you are out in pasture or anywhere where he's at liberty and you want him to follow your lead from behind. Now, if I ask him to go to this next pile, I'm going to have to calculate where I'm going to stop in order to not push him on to the next pile. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. I'm not going to let him go back to this pile. onto another pile and I had to do that because you could see he got a little bit excited about having to move off of this pile and he might have just blown me off and gone to anywhere he wanted now if you're just working with your horse for the very first time in this exercise you will not want to be asking your horse to be directed you want to keep with letting him go wherever he wants in the beginning until he starts to feel comfortable and he understands if you go forward and ask him to go to a particular pile and he passes that pile, then just keep moving him until he gets to another pile where you can stop and he will stop. That way he will begin to learn that you are directing him to a particular pile. So 
So that takes care of the first and second phases of leading from behind in five paws of head. The third phase is where you want to stop your horse in between a pile. Now it's important that you give enough distance between the piles so that your horse can stop in the middle of the two and not feel so close to the next pile that he's tempted to just keep going. So as you can see, I just noticed that that pile is a little bit close to this pile. So a very nice place for me to ask for halt in between two piles would be here because I have a little more distance between them. In reality, you do want your piles to be more um, even, but I just noticed that. So no worries. What I'm going to do now is go up and hang out with him for a minute, say hello, and um, then I'm going to ask him for the third phase of leading from behind. Now I can do this with Pericles because he does understand this and he does work with me in this capacity all the time. So like I said, if you're new to this, you want to stay in the beginning phase. phase of leading from behind. I asked him to stop on the way to the next pile in the middle and he accepted my lead and he stopped in the middle. So now you see the three phases and you saw me do head up and head down. I tried to come in for hello and he said no and I walked away and I was actually going to come back and ask him to move off of that pile and go to another pile but he left on his own. So that's fine. We don't want to have a huge agenda while we're doing this for this exercise. We want to just be in the flow and just
just, you know, give and take, uh, follow and lead, and do a lot of pause in between. to walk with him from behind at this that close of contact and he accepted that just fine so um, that's a little bit advanced and that comes in a little bit more when you're working with leading from behind without food but if your horse will accept it and le let you lead him from behind at a close proximity to him then that's fine too so as you can see there are a lot of things in this exercise that you can do uh, to enjoy hanging out and spending time with your horse. So I hope that you all enjoy this video and I hope that you will have a happy holiday with